Uh, I kid myself. Quiet, isn't it? Yes. Hmm. Too quiet. You. You're Clive Rossfield. Who wants to know? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. My name is Nestor. I hope you've been enjoying the series as much as I have, and quite frankly, it's a brand new day. It's uh, literally the next day from the last video, so let's let's get right down to it and see what's going to happen. Let's see where Rosaria takes us. Let's see what happens when we go back home and find out what happened. Okay, anyways, that being said, welcome back. Let's carry on, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a little too excited about this. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Anyways. The bridge is built. You gotta say slumbering chocobo. Welcome to the Brotherhood. You're free to come and go as you please. Even to the north. Now the bridge is fixed. Oh, thanks, man. Oh, my health. <laughs> you hey, Bernard. I use good solid lumber. It's the base on the other side you want to be careful of. All right. You know what? We're gonna need potions. We're gonna need potions. Let's just, uh, let's just do it. All right. Right, side quests. We have side quests. Let's do the side quests. Let's do the side quest, then we'll do. East Pool. Oh, we could make a I have to find him. Stuff. Can't talk now, I... Oh, you're Clyde, aren't you? Yes, we are. Arthur told me all about you. Word is, you're a devil with that blade. I'm more like you a sword like saint, Harry. but... Where are you going? Not far, I hope. But I dare not waste a moment. It might cost a man his life. Sounds serious. What happened? Not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bearer, see? And now, one of his erstwhile friends and neighbors wants to see him clapped in chains. Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough to wait for the Imperials to arrive. Poor Sod took to the road, left his whole life behind. But they'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety, fast. Here. Let's go. Let's do it. Few the time and the inclination. I could do with a hand. Will you help me find him? Of course! Of course. We you know would. have to look out for each other. That's exactly what I said. Thank you, Clive. With your help, we might catch up with him yet. His name's Norris. We need to find him and get him to Martha before the Imperials sniff him out. You found him yet? You won't catch a bastard standing around clucking like old ends. Who the fuck are you? That fucking snake played me false, acted like he was one of us, and the old time he was one of them. We oh, I'm sorry. And handed over to the Imperials. Hanging's too good for him. Well, go on then. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. All right, Ronald. We were just leaving. Look, this one's here to help. I was just filling him in. Ha! Send a bearer to catch a bearer, is it? Not bloody likely. That's it. I'll find the bastard myself. Come on now, Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any harm. You want something done right, you don't send a bearer. Bro, you're over here thinking he's he was one of you. you. You're thinking you he's just a regular a human guy. Long once I put Ronald's mind at ease. Someone said they oh. saw Norris heading for the Fallen Gate. Maybe you could ask if anyone over that way knows anything. We have to find him. Don't let him slip through our grasp. Better find this Norris before Ronald takes matters into his own hands. There is a hardly difficult to spot. What did he mean about being played false, I wonder? Oh, I'm sorry. You thought he was like you thought he was just a regular guy, and then the moment you find out he's not? Why? Why would that change? Why would that change anything? Oh, this asshole. Fuck that guy, man. Sorry, that, that really ruffled my feathers a little bit. Like just because I've met people like that. It sucks. It fucking sucks. It's just a short climb down. I'll make it worth your while. 
I can't promise anything. Well, just promise you'll look. Ah, there may be one thing I failed to mention about the crystal. A creature might have already claimed it. Claimed it? All right, eaten it, but, but, but only might have, you understand. There were a lot of bog crabs down there. Nasty buggers, them. <sighs> Sounds like I need to break a few shells. Oh, don't worry, there, there, there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marsh, as they say, the ladders, right over there. Hmm. Okay, there's one right there, then the other one's right over here. Uh, let's do the false friends first, and then go from there. You don't know a man called Norris, do you? I do, as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back. Looked like he was in a right all hurry. And he had a lantern with him for some reason. Never known him to stay out after dark. He was making for the marshes then. All right. Thank you. All right. Then that means... We found it. I'm done here than I have to. Now, does this connect? Yes, it does. Ah, itchy eye. Stop it. Clam shell. So I better keep my eyes peeled. Oh, he's gonna be over there. The one Norris was carrying, no doubt. At least I know which way he went. Hmm. Someone made sure work of them. I wonder if that someone was Norris. Hmm, wolves. He could defend himself at least, which is good. Norris, I presume. Leave me be. You were never branded. So that's how you stayed hidden. Ronald sent you after me, did he? Set an imperial dog on his best friend. And when we were so close, I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. You're not. As one bearer to another, please. Don't do this. You know how they treat our kind. Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. I don't understand. Martha takes in Paris. She's a friend. You can trust her. Believe me. I never knew. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised, though. She has a kind heart. Kinder than most. Just wait here and stay out of sight. You'll be among friends soon enough. Thank you. There's few would have been so kind. And... Sorry. You're no Imperial dog. Nah. Far from it. 
I've been called worse. Oh, I found a lantern back there. I assume it's yours. Thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me. But, if I'm honest, I wasn't all that sorry to be rid of it. Ron gave it to me. All right. I'll keep hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial Surge before it begins. Mm hmm. Bear without a brand. To have lived free for so many years. I need to be betrayed by a friend. Mm. Why, Rod? After all these years. See? You were like a brother to me. See? I'm sorry. It, it's been a hard day. I'll be here when Martha's man comes looking. See, like, that doesn't make sense to me. Like, he was your friend. You two were very close. And then all of a sudden, like, just because he's a branded, like, all of a sudden, like, oh, he's the enemy, like, I have to kill him? Jesus Christ? Like, dude, what the fuck? That doesn't make any sense to me, quite frankly. Like, that, that, that's just... That's just shit. That's just a shit attitude and a shit response to to that kind of situation. And yeah, I, I, I said what I needed to say. <sighs> now, side quests are done. Let's go. Seen you been running errands. Go collect our loot. Well, any luck? Yours, I presume. Hmm. Foul crystal. <laughs> you found it, oh thank you. They got to preserve their food. Any longer out in the sun, and my catch would have made for poor eating indeed. Be more careful next time. Oh, I will, I promise. No point casting my nets of a morning if I'm without a crystal to see the catch to town. It was a time honest taxpaying folk could get new ones whenever they wanted. Can't now, though, not for love nor money. Crystals are scarce, and the Empire tightens its purse strings more every day. Lose this little beauty again, and I might as well scrap my nets and take to begging. We got a thousand gil. Oh, we're so close to leveling up, though. I wonder if this guy's still arguing. He's still arguing with this fool! There you are, Clive. How goes the search? Well branded. Have you found the bastard yet? Only what was left of him. A corpse, torn apart by monsters. And this. Let me see that. No. It can't be. Shall we consider that the end of the matter, then? Or do you need to see a body? No, no. I, I mean... I've no use for bearer bones. He's dead. Let that be an end to it. Mm. I only wish those whose job it was had done what they were supposed to do and spotted him sooner. Letting a bearer go about without a brand? It's not right, I tell you. Well, what have you to do it? with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be a laughing stock. Mm. Is it true, Clive? Is Norris really... He's alive. You'll find him in a hut in the marshes. He's expecting you. Oh, you crafty. Still, you did the right thing. Yeah. Thank you. It's not much considering, but please, take this. It's a photo of me wife. She's very lonely when I'm out of work. Send her letters. And my love. Hey! Level up! 
and meteorite. Oh, <laughs> meteorite, you say? Then we have to hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, are there any other? Oh, there is another side quest. But where? Oh, it's on the way. Okay. Then in that case. Okay, first things first. Gotta go to the hideaway. Talk to Blackthorn. Now, there's a few nooks to explore before going off to wherever this is, but all right. Let's roll on out! Right there. Martha Step said over the there. And spread even further south, pushing yet more monsters down with Wands of Satan over there. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Then we we'll start over keep here. Our wits about us. Let's start over here. Let's go some praise. There's an man toys over here. Don't attack it just yet. Stay down. Oh my god! Uh, try to hit me with that projectile. <laughs> no, you don't. Yep, there it is. <laughs> oh, it hit the shell. Yeah! <laughs> I got some multiplier. This is too freaking easy. Oh, that's so good. It does so much stagger damage, though. And there. Hey, Black Blood. That's good. Oh, my God. That combo is just ridiculous. That, that heat wave is just really freaking good. That's a really good move. Granted, it like, gets better as a counter, but it still works really well. Alright. Okay, so we've explored over here, down here. Now we just need to go over try these. Don't hunt the antelope. This feels like a trap. Oh, never mind. It's not a trap. But it is near some monsters. These could be a trap. Not what I wanted to press, but fuck it. Oh. Ashes. 
Coming. Oh, I dodged it too soon. The thing faked me out. Hello, boys. Fancy a dance? All right, if you say so. Hey. Let's make this quick. Oh, look at that, dead. Oh, these things are all good looking. Oh, I fucking hate spiders. Alright. Now let's see what's beyond door number this one, shall we? The fuck is that? Oh, it's a Drake. Okay. We can we can deal with that. A wiver! <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not doing so hot managing between Torgal and my potions. And uh, I did not do so hot that battle. I kept getting fucking spanked by the, mistiming the dodges on this guy and being a little too aggressive. I I gotta give the bigger enemies some, some respect. Like, definitely need to give them some more respect than I already am because they will fuck me up if I don't. As evident by this battle. So, that being said, Bloodhawk Jess. What is that? Let's see. Oh, it's not a. Let's see. Bloodhawk Jess. Uh, increases aerial combo damage by 8%. Okay, well that's not bad. Nice! All worked out.
still. I, oof. I need to get better at that for sure. Managing between these two. Okay, that's all there was over here. Unless. Huh. Redstone. Interesting. You and there. what you want? Over here. Frederick the Hunter. Excuse me. I'll use that blade of yours. For? Oh, curse my luck. I branded. No time to haggle with whoever holds your leash. Wait. That's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing. You in the Marfords, are you? Good. She won't begrudge me the use of you then. Not while there's wolves about. We tried dealing with them ourselves. Made out bait, think we might swoop in and slaughter the lot. But we didn't expect the pack to be quite so bloody big. I expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. We'd hoped empty bellies might make them easy prey. We'd made them mean instead. Martha's no fool, so she must see something in you. Do us a favor and get rid of them, will you? All right. All right. I suppose those wolves pose a threat to everyone. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'd wager the greedy bastards are still over yonder, finishing off our bait. When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. He want to know if he's safe to come across. All right, off you go then. All right. Clear some wolves, huh? Prioritize it and take care of it. But real quick, I gotta take care of something. I'll be right back. That's quite a few wolves. Look hungry, all right. Ooh, these guys are a little tougher than normal. Oh, son of a... do that, but I can also do some exploring over here. For loot! Alright. Let's get the show on the road, shall we? Time that so bad. A little help. Get him. Too slow. Oh! 
on. the marshes. We're doing a service to the beach. Hmm. All right. And look at that. One more minute. Go. Now we're getting it. Now we're grooving it. I swear I'm good at games! I swear I'm good at games! Whew. Torgal? Torgal, you've been a good boy. You've been a good boy. Torgal, get, get over here! There we go. <laughs> you have been a good boy, Torgal. Good boy! And there was loot over here, what'd you know? Meteorite! Always need it. Always need it. Now, onward to adventure! Yeah, we're making good time. And they have respawned. Not gonna bother. I'm not gonna bother. Nope. I've already killed him once. I don't need to kill him again. Except for these! I already cleared the wolves. And I already beat these guys. And I already got the loot that was over here, and I just need to go over here. And this little nook. Hmm. Oh! Oh, that was beautiful. Oh! Did I just shred that man after stabbing it? Yep. Looks like you got a pest problem over here, there, sir. Don't worry. I'll burn them for you. Hey! Okay, so just a little hideaway then. Nothing crazy. Oh, wait a minute. There's an upstairs. That means loot. Yeah. <laughs> Give me all the loot. Well, that's it then, there, Gov. Hmm. Road safe to travel now. Broken. Oh. How long that bail last? You, Bryce. What's it to you, Bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves, so I got rid of the wolves. You'd have me believe a single bearer slew the entire pack. No. Then again, if you didn't. But the road is safe. You wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, Frederick. You oily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast like that. 
You served us well, Bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks to your master. Yeah. A service is done then. And we got some gill out of it. And meteorite! Yay! It looks like I'm gonna be needing some crafting materials, considering how much they're giving me. Look, the windmills. That must be Eastpool. <gasps> hey, we're almost there! Actually. Quick second. Any... Nope! Okay, we're good. Gotta clear the roads! Of all danger! And weeds! All these weeds! I kind of like pulling them towards me so that way I can continue the combo. Especially when I don't like have them like pitted against a wall or something. I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was young. Whereas area seemed a very different place back then. Hmm. Oh, Murdoch. I miss him. He was a good guy. Of course! Bloody hides. Whatever they're used for. Nope, can't go up there. There's very few buildings we can actually enter, huh? I've noticed that. All right, let's see what's going on over here, and then we'll continue on. Fuckery! That's what's going on over here! Fuckery! still hear them chittering. It's it's so unnerving. Whoa! That guy just showed up to party, all right! <laughs> Unless I can time the dodge, it's better to just wait until he's done with this combo. Oh, we're gonna shred you up good, big guy! It looks like you don't launch any projectiles, so let's just unleash everything on you. Hand dodge. Ah! Dang it! What did I just say? <laughs> That's 
right? Suck it! And I didn't use a single potion! Anyways, moving on. We're off to save nature and rid the world of scum. <laughs> I can just imagine Clive just like if he had like a Brooklyn accent or something, just be like, Drink up now. Oh. Just like. Do you have dragon problems? Do you have spiders the size of a horse? Well, do I got a proposition for you? <laughs> Call Clive Rossfield's pest control. If it ain't dead, they're gonna be. <laughs> uh, I kid myself. Quiet, isn't it? Yes. Hmm. Ooh, quiet. You! You're Clive Rossfield! Who wants to know? Huh? It's me! Hannah! Rodney Murdoch's wife! No! Lady Hannah! Oh! Oh, I knew it was you! You haven't changed at all! The Lord Marquis and Jill, too! It's so good to see you both again. <gasps> oh. It's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. <gasps> oh. Oh, I'm so sorry about your husband. It's time. You simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. Come on, guys. She clearly misses and loves you. You should be delighted. <sighs> this is nice. And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes, but oh. To take to the road at such a tender age. It uh, wasn't easy, but we survived and. And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. Sorry, I heard a message ding. Do you think you will stay here in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing, does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. The Duchess? Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. No! Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. No way! Yes. Of course. Oh, frickin'. No frickin' way! Boiling Crusade. Whoa, 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 whoa. We gotta find out what the Burning Crusade is, alright? A surprise attack launched by the Iron Kingdom on the Duchy of Rosario. All right. Rosario was critically weakened at the time, having lost Archduke Elwyn Rosfield and been pl plunged into chaos in the aftermath of the attack on Phoenix Gate. The Iron Blood unleashed a wave of murderous destruction on the, Ros on the Rosarians and return home with human spoils in the form of countless young women and children, Jill Warwick. 
Warwick among them. Lesage that. Okay. We gotta know we gotta know about Lady Hannah though. Wife of Rodney Murdoch, Lord Commander of the Rosarian Army. Since her marriage, she has resided in the Murdoch Manor in East Pelong. Oh, your husband was a good man. We miss him. Oh, even though we kicked his ass. <laughs> Anyways, this little Annabella Lesage. Former Duchess of Rosaria, now Empress of the Holy Empire of San Brick. God damn. It was ever her purpose in life to preserve her phoenix-bearing bloodline. This... For which reason she betrayed her husband, that she might enter in league with a force she judged the mightier. Now she rules over Rosaria as Viserine of the Imperial Province, which she rules with a cruelty and contempt for the baseborn that was unknown in Archduke Elwyn's day. Christ Almighty. What is this girl's deal? Like, what is this woman's deal? Seriously. God damn. Me, I, I didn't mean to. No! Say it! Please. She's a bitch. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Ronnie died, dude. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. Clive. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Hmm? Clive. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. She's a good lady, just like her husband. <laughs> her late husband. <laughs> Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years. Without what is with that moon? Hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. But if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought, Hundreds died. And there were so many bodies. So many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body.
Do you remember that night on the balcony? When we looked up at the moon? I said a prayer to Metia and that prayer was answered. You came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. <sighs> we should get some rest. Good night, Clive. Sleep well. We gotta let it grow. There's the handsome boy. Thank you, Mediana. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? They were friends, dude. Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well... I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. They suit you well. <laughs> Dude's looking sharp. Oh, I like this look. It's good. Yes. Thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Oh. Fare you well. My lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. Victus. All right, let's see. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? All right. Ooh. Median cross, median bonds, and Invictus. Okay. Is it better than the... Yeah, it is. Let's see. 135, 160... 165, all right. Oh, wrong thing. 45 and 12, 42 and 12, okay. So it's better than what we got. Damn it. Here we go. And 45 and 12, also better than what we got. Yep, nope. <laughs> this is good. This is long good. Why did I say long good? This is all good. This is all good. Not long good, just all good. Yeah. I don't know why I'm doing the freaking. Oh, never mind. Never, never mind. Let's, let's just play. Let's just play. Ignore me. <laughs> okay. Hang on. I have a set of seven swords said to have been forged in the flames of Mount Drustinus. Invictus has been passed down through the generations, but for use by the Archduke's family and his closest shields. Archduke Elwyn presented Invictus to Rodney Murdoch on the day he was promoted to Lord Commander of the Ducal Army. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. Yeah. 288. Nope, can't upgrade nothing. follow the road to the north, it should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. I feared that the old road to Phoenix Gate was lost to the Blight many years ago. 
Have care out there, both of you. Hmm. We will, Lady Hannah. We will. Now, let's explore the town. Maybe find some loot! Yes. Loot. Well, aren't you dressed up smart? Especially for a bearer. Proper little prince you look. <laughs> Lady, you don't know the half of it. <laughs> hey, what do you know? Wonder if Martha could spare us a few bushels. Maybe she can. Maybe she can't. You won't know until you ask. Oh. Poor thing. Now that seems to be the only loot we found so far. Well, there's usually like one or two chests per town, so let's no bad at all. keep on looking. You make a master baker of you yet. Hmm. Yep. At least one or two. Goblin coin, hey! Chunks of wear, right? That's different material, isn't it? Harvest's down again this year. Bloody blight. People are starving, aren't they? Hey, another chest. And another goblin coin. That's good, that's money. A lot of money. Are you off to then? Or hasn't your master told you? Either way, I expect our humble village and your final destination. Not to say it didn't have its charms. Take that tower. Relic of the Fallen it is. Must have stood there a thousand years. And in all that time, no one's ever been in sight. Mysterious, eh? Very. I've been having some questions about it. Anything take your fancy? Nope. Uh-uh. Nope. It's for Rook's Gambit, though. Later. Come back soon, now. All right. Before I head out, I have one last place to check. Miss Murdoch, I need to inspect your grounds. You have a very lovely home. I do like this. This is a nice home. Oh, and you got a nice little. Oh, this is nice. I love that the Scarecrows are the Black Mages. That's... Love was put into this game. A lot of love was put into this game, and I love it. All right. Bye, Mrs. Burdock. Thanks for the clothes. Until we meet again. By the flames. You're his firstborn. Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. Mm. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. 
Might be Harris. Hmm? Oh. Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastpool. I didn't recognize you. Oh, this I'd man's the mayor! He's still the mayor! <laughs> Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who mm. once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, many who lost their masters fled here in search of sanctuary and never returned. I. The plan was to send oh, them home me, sorry. once we won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Breck. The duchy was dissolved, and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house and still consider the Rosfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions. Been daydreaming for too long. No, no, still, they're better off here. I would ask a favor of you, a small mercy. <sighs> if it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. I don't ask that you take him into your service, only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives. And that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank Hell you, yeah. my lord. Hell I yeah. By the well, most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. The bears are safer here than they are with Clive, honestly. They'd just be painting a target on their back, honestly. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Yeah. Come on. Let's go and meet that bearer. You'll find the bearer I spoke of over by the well. Introduce yourself. It will mean a lot to him. Yeah, no. I mean, it'd be good to take them in and bring them into safety, but they made a home for themselves here. They made a life here. Taking them with... Taking them with Clive would uh, just be painting a target on their back and it would tear them away from the homes they've already made. Uh, it's not worth it. Better they live here in secrecy and in peace than, you know, on the run. Especially with good old Mama hunting down people uh, who sympathize with them. He's not here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. Right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Excuse me, lady. Well, now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to Eastpool, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him? 
if you don't mind me asking. You're not from the capital too, are you? No. We are, in a way. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised oh, on Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. It wasn't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. Oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer, either. Though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around, then. Thank you. Mm. Good day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. You'd often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Living in a dream, he is. But better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Viceroy stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. No. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. Hey, hold on a mo. Young Patrick, the chocobo keeper who might know where he is. He's taken the old bird under his wing, so to speak. He'll be in the stables. You should go and have a pun with him. There. Patrick like the chocobo it. keeper. Thank you. We will. I'm sorry, Joe. For making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. Hmm, where the bloody hell's he got to? Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for, he's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. So that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on a bound to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Understood. You keep searching here. We'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Hmm. I think I know where... I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. Drink up now. Still no sign. Could he have strayed even further? Look. Oh, 
oh, there someone is. over there. It might be him. We should hurry. And of course. We can't lead them to the old man. They need to die. Agreed. <laughs> No enemies. That's it. Birds and wolves attacking together. I don't like it. for you so long that you finally came oh no. i'm not who you think clive humor him <sighs> yes pray forgive my long delay it's nothing your grace i prayed to the founder that you would come and at long last he answered Will we be returning to the castle, then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition. One which may take some time. Could you... wait for me in Eastpool? Until my journey is complete. I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide oh, no. for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. So that's how they did We it. want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad. I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damn near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, Hell of course. Yeah. I'll be back anon. 
Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. It's the least we can do. And it'd be safer with Sid, if anything, or at least get plenty of support from him, if anything. They would be safe with Sid, and they'd be getting plenty of support with him, if at all. So, no, they'll be fine. I don't know why I'm correcting myself, but I hope you guys understand. And eh, my speech can be all over the place sometimes. It's also been a long weekend, so bear with me. But thank you guys for being here anyways. I appreciate anybody that comes in just to watch the videos and just has a good time with me. Whether it's one view or a thousand, I don't mind. As long as I've made someone stay, I suppose. So if you're here and you're still here, thank you. I appreciate it. Let's move on, shall we? Yeah. All right. Maximum effort. Okay. The Deadlands are aptly named. I Oof. didn't realize they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. Light is leaching the ether from the soil. And when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. No plants, no animals, no life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. Yeah, but... Uh... Whoa! What's this? Another relic of the Fallen. I get in? No. It's a door. Does it lead to this tower? Oh my god, like I What is that tower? What is this? Okay. It's one of two things. Tinfoil hat type. Bear with me. Either the ruins belong to an ancient civilization, which Final Fantasy often does, or this is a big ore. Aliens. Just saying, like it, it, it's possible. It could be possible. Final Fantasy has done it. I mean, they've, they've, they've dabbled with aliens before, but this could either be aliens or ancient civilization or ancient aliens. Who knows? We'll, we'll find out eventually, I guess. Just, oh man, so many questions. Not a lot of answers yet. We'll have to see. Anyways. We won't be able to use any magic here. Another thing to worry about. As if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take away the lad's life force. And problems are all that's left. That's an interesting effect. The branches are actually falling off the trees. That's interesting. It's all so interesting. I can't use magic. I'm pressing the the magic button and it's not casting anything. I can hardly imagine what this place used to look like before the blight took it. I remember. It was beautiful. I can hear Torgal panting in the back. Time to discover the truth. I'm with Jill on this one, man. Come on. It's time to put the past behind us. And find out what happened. 
No side quests. All right. Phoenix Gate Ruins. Time to go back where it all began. Almost as if time had stood still. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. No. It's just as I left it. I doubt there's gonna be like any Could loot I have in done this. Could anyone? Whoa! I was about to ask like where the crater was that killed Phoenix, but uh, <laughs> I found it. <laughs> fucking way that's him he's the only one who can tell me what happened I have to know Nowhere to be seen. Damn it! He's like a bloody eel. What is Delicious? this place anyway? Some sort of shrine? Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix's dominant can open it. Hence the castle's name. This was where Joshua was supposed to... Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning and listened to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. No. The apodotry is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Where the hell did he go? Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix. Like you! I mean, we know he's alive, but how? Or is he even alive? 
So many questions. So many questions. So that's how we opened the door. Thank you, Joshua. Are you sure about this? Oh. Well, sure as shit, I guess. This is interesting. Another gate. Let's see if this one opens. Should. Don't see why not. Oh. Is this all throughout underground? Are they all connected to each other underground? That tower. That tower, is that literally the top of a tower from an underground tower? Like all the ruins we're seeing, like what if they didn't fall? Well, no, they had to have fallen, but some of these are sticking out of the ground. And what if all of these are connected all throughout the entire world, like underground? That's nuts. Th this is nuts. Could this place really be a fallen ruin? You could hardly call it a ruin. It's perfect. Like it was built yesterday. Have you ever seen anything like this? No. Hmm. Enemies. Those things are going to wake up. Hmm. Whoa. What do we do? The usual. Yeah. I'd say so. down here, aren't they? More trouble. These things got lightsabers! Oh, please tell me I get one at some point. That's enough. Ooh, I am liking this music. Kind of reminds me of uh, Fantasia in a, in, a, in a way. Okay, I need to take this one. This must be what the fallen ruins were like before they fell. Did they fall though? Yep. That's the way to go. Another way another way to go. Magic to ash. Yeah, this is where we fought Phoenix. I'm telling you, okay. These are all connected, all underground, and some of the ruins we see up top 
are literally the tops of some of these towers from underground that are just protruding through the Earth's crust. Like, it has to be. Oh my god. This is insane. Oh. More trouble. Let's make this quick. Alright. Let's go. That's enough. Ah, chest. Gill and sharp things. Not a lot of gill. I'm noticing the chests don't really give you a whole lot of money. Unless it's a sellable item, in which case it gives you plenty of money, but not a lot. But it gives you but if it gives you straight up money, it's not a lot. But yeah, noticing the chests will either give you a little bit of money, stuff to sell that's worth money, or crafting items. Not, a, not really a whole lot or weapons or accessories. Yeah, but then that's most chests. So, yeah. Alright. Anyways, moving on. Oh, this is a big boy, isn't it? Looks like he can take oh. A then let's go big oh! this guy looks cool! Oh! you don't. Oh, nice. Let's go, you big idiot. Ah, dang it. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, I lied, you're not an idiot! Oh god! Nope, not what I wanted to do! I am messing it all up. Oh, God. Does any of this make sense to you? Okay. Let's find the hooded man and leave. All right. Phoenix. Garuda. Okay. Torgal. Healing, Torgal, healing, Torgal, healing, Torgal, healing! Uh, okay. Is this a chest of many potions? Favor of Wind Gouge. Eh. 
Why not? Ocean. Oh, thank God. Oh, yes. Whew. Oh, thank Christ. Okay. Then no, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be just fine. Oh. It's more of these guys. Bombs! There's bombs down here! I gotta kill these guys fast! Oh! That one's gonna blow! Oh no! worked out, I think. Would Joshua have had to run this gauntlet too? I don't think so. No. At least not that I ever heard about. I imagine the Phoenix would receive a warmer welcome. I would think, but I don't know. Here we go again. Where will we end up this time? Surrounded by contraptions hellbent on murdering us, I expect. That's a good call. Man really have taken this path. We won't know until we've followed it all the way to the end. Come on. Let's well, I'm not keep really looking. seeing any remains of anything. Hey, okay, I lied. Maybe you can find money in some of these chests. Okay. Round two. What the? Oh, right. Oh, God, okay. Oh, son of a... Okay. Are they gone? Are they done? Wrong, wrong icon. Wrong ability to, to use. Oh my god, this guy's gonna throw me for a loop, why? Son of a- Thanks, Torgal. Time to slice you up! Wrong ability. Alright, here we go. Now we're getting it. Now we're getting to it. Oh, you don't!
There you go. Okay. That worked out better. That worked out nicer. I need to get rid of these guys the moment they come up, because they get annoying, especially in tandem with that guy. Oh, my whole ass. Just, ugh. Alright, I can deal with these guys. Okay, potions. Good, very good. Oh boy. I don't know what fire laser at me, but okay. Oh, let's deal some damage to you, because I know you're going to be annoying as shit. Oh, no, you don't! Needed. Oh, that worked out well. Looks gambit. I got it without even have to, having to buy it. What do you know? A lot of Garuda items in this temple, though. Especially if it's supposed to be for Phoenix. Well, at least we're full up on potions. What is going on here, man? Huh? Whoa. Okay, I can't go back that way. I don't like this. No, I don't like it either. Oh, I know it's gonna be a hell of a fight, but this guy looks sick. Seems the feelings mutual. Oh, okay. Follow up attack after the lunge. Gotcha. Respect the man with the big sword and the claw shield. Just like that. Yeah, we're getting it. We're getting it. Bring you down, big boy. Let's see how much you can take. Oh. 
Ocean! Oh, thank Christ. That was cool! <laughs> oh, that was so good. Oh, and I was really feeling the vibe too. I was really getting it. Oh. And why do they keep attacking us? Self-defense mechanism, maybe? Like, if it's allowed to the Phoenix to get in. They're probably asking themselves the same thing. Hmm. I don't We're know. We're the ones trespassing here. They're just protecting their home. Could be a self-defense mechanism. But it doesn't make sense since you had the Phoenix Blessing. I don't know. Too many questions. Jill, look. Wait a minute. Is that supposed to be Garuda? Is that some kind of mural? It's worth a closer look, whatever it is. It kind of looks like Garuda, but... Well, it's not, though. Looks like her, almost, but it's not her. What is going on? What is this supposed to be? Well, alright. Wicked wheel, yeah. I said a lot of Garuda stuff around here. Okay, let's get to the bottom of this sh shit. Well, all right. Well, I got two ways to go. Let's go left. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter which way we go then, huh? This is going to be a long episode. 
but that's fine. Happy to see us. Gotcha. A lich. Interesting. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, missed time that completely. Oh, <laughs> missed time that completely, too. Don't. Let's see how you like this. Saving the heat wave. Fresh. Save the heat wave for projectiles. Come this time. <laughs> Let's go again, fool. It was a ledge, Clive. Didn't you read the text? It would seem this place holds even more secrets than we thought. Mm-hmm. None that I'm too fond of. Okay, I know what's gonna happen. Another gauntlet of enemies. One on each side, and then we go down the middle. Whoa! Look out! What are these guys? They look different from the other constructs. I wonder if these are actually different or corrupted versions of side, fill up half of it, and then we can go down the middle. Let's see what we come across. Another lich or more wraiths? No. Spectres. Interesting. There we go. something waiting for us back down there, isn't there? Or 
never mind. Maybe it's just gonna raise the bridge. So, it isn't a dead end after all. No, I guess not. Apparently not. room and look what's in it a mural oh but the bottom is like blacked out how old do you suppose this is a thousand years more i don't know i've never seen anything like it before who is that in the middle do you think some sort of god Oh, what's going on? <sighs> That's not Joshua, is it? You're him. The second dominant of fire. Who are you? It's you, Clive. Joshua chose me to be his shield. He gave me his blessing and asked me to keep him safe. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. I killed him, and I blamed another for what I did. 
to spare myself the guilt. I feared the Bai. Accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran. From everything. And now? Are you ready to accept the truth? I am. I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. So that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace. literally face our past, don't we? Shomu's boss! There it is. 
Jesus. Him and accept him. Still, you deny it. Even with the truth staring right at you. It's not that you're denying it, man. You have to accept life. different. Face your fears. Time to parry. Yeah. <sighs> 
Ah! Well, that was a bit of a waste. into that power. No escape, eh? No. It's Face all right. It. Accept it. I'm done running from you. Together. It's time to find out who we are, once and for all. Oh my god! Yes! Let's go! Show yourself, you free. Oh, this is gonna be good!
my god, yes! Fire shard, what? Oh my god. Clive, are you all right? Jill. It's nothing. I'll be fine. No more chasing shadows. The hooded man isn't here. We should go. You both saw him, though. So was it Josh? Was it Joshua? Clive, are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. You should tell her. I had a hard enough time telling myself. I awakened as a dominant of fire, right here in this castle, and I've been running from it ever since. But now I know for certain who I really am. The second icon of fire, who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground, was me, Ifrit. Clive. I took so many lives that night and destroyed so many more, including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed, but not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? I need to know. And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself useful. We'll find your answers together. Oh, my bad. I want to learn the truth too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. You never were one to hide from the truth. Even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. You're wrong. I have changed. But I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. And yet, they're what brought us back together. Thank you, Jill.
So was Joshua. If he is here, then... The disturbance I felt at the care must have been... Confounded. The hour is later than I thought. right there he doesn't know you meanwhile castle despo Delivered. Who, who delivered the coffer said he said Sid paid him. Paid him to do what? I let you run amok with the rest of your rats, and this is how you repay me? Well, find out where he is. Crush him! Flay him! Rip out his heart! Him and all his filthy brood! And send every last one of them to Out. No! Yes! Yes, my lord! Is that what I think it is? Framing Sid. I think someone's framing Sid. Someone's framing Sid by sending Koopka Benedict his hand a box. Ah, this is bad. This is real bad. Oh my god. Mm. Okay. Alright, alright. A different note. We got it freed. You're freed! Yay! Oh my god, okay. Ifrit awoken. Clive has gained control of the icon Ifrit, allowing access to new iconic abilities such as ignition. Uh, fiery lunge that drives back enemies and dealing continuous damage, as well as unlocking the limit break. Hey! Slots for Ifrit's abilities are shared with those of the Phoenix and can be confirmed via abilities tab in the main menu. Okay, alright. Limit break. Located underneath Clive's HP bar, release Clive's inner beast with semi-prime into Ifrit by pressing L3 and R3. When the gauge is full, the gauge fills in battle, both by taking damage as well as by successfully performing offensive and defensive maneuvers. Semi-priming temporarily grants increased attack potency and speed, gradual HP regeneration, and guard-breaking strikes. So, what next? We returned to Eastpool. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again. About Lady Hannah, amongst other things. Though she may be loath to leave, I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid, too. Yeah. All right. We should arrange an introduction, then. All right, let's see. If free channeled. Oh. Break the limit break. 
Will of the Wikes. Summon a storm of fireballs that circle around Clive, damaging nearby targets while also absorbing damage. Hey, that's going to be useful. That's real useful. Ignition. Oh. I got to learn that. Oh, I got to learn that. And this. This is going to be very useful. Yeah, got enough points to learn both. And then we'll work on everything else. But I think right now this is a good place to leave it. So thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, all the YouTube stuff. Oh, I'm so excited. Like, I, I hate to leave it here like this, guys, but we're already running at like almost at three hours. So let's just, we'll call it here. We'll continue it later and we'll catch you next time. But, oh, this is getting good. This is getting real good. I hope you guys have been enjoying as much as I have. So. See you.